Today I'm sharing the secret material I use to create these gorgeous window clings that can be repositioned to fit your mood and the seasons. Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to turn our windows into a canvas with these easy sun catcher window clings. There are a lot of material options out there, so in this video I'll show you what to look for when combining window cling and vinyl. There are so many beautiful combinations that you can make. Rainbows are just an instant pick-me-up, and these sun catchers can create colors from even just a little bit of sunlight. Now, when I first started making these, I tried several different kinds of materials and I had plenty of fails, but eventually I figured it out. The secret to making your own sun catchers in this style is actually window privacy film. Yep, window privacy film. There are different types and I've listed my favorites in the materials list below this video. Whichever kind you pick, I recommend getting a roll that is just under 12 inches wide because they're much easier to work with. This stuff comes in big rolls to cover windows and that will be okay if you use my PDF file to cut the designs by hand. But I'll use a Cricut cutting machine today for really clean cuts. So starting with a roll of material that is the same width as a machine mat saves you a few steps. I'll show you how to make both sizes work though so you can use either one that you end up with. You know, and then to make this, you can use pretty much any cutting machine that will cut the right size you want, anything from the original maker to an explore, all sorts of things. Now, window cling isn't a preset option in Cricut Design Space, so I also tested how best to cut this fun material. It's really important to get clean cuts for the best results, so I'll show you which setting worked best for me. The window cling does like to curl back up into a tube, so the purple strong grip machine mat made it a lot easier to cut in my testing. And we wanna add details to our sun catchers, right? So we're not just cutting the window cling material. I tried out both plain permanent adhesive vinyl in black and holographic adhesive vinyl for some added color. I used the purple mat to cut my holographic vinyl, but a regular green standard grip mat worked well for the plain vinyl. You'll definitely want a brayer to smooth all of your materials onto their mats for the best results. Plus scissors to cut everything apart and a weeding tool to remove the sections you don't want. We'll use standard grip transfer tape to layer the designs and a scraper to make sure the vinyl sticks well. Some painter's tape can also help keep the project from curling up while you're putting the layers together. Or you can just use a machine mat. I also use my Cricut portable trimmer to make straight cut lines when sizing my materials so I'd have a nice straight line to start from the next time I decide to make more sun catchers. These are so fun and easy. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before all of my windows are decorated. <laughs> And when you're ready to display your sun catchers, have your favorite glass cleaner or some rubbing alcohol and a soft cloth ready. The window cling uses static cling instead of adhesive to stick to the glass. So a clean surface will work best for these. If you don't have a window that you can decorate, these also look really pretty on mirrors or even a floating picture frame like on mine here. Now I've got a full list of the tools and supplies plus links on where to find them in my materials list that's right beneath this video. You'll also find it over on my blog post at jennifermaker.com 620. That's also where you'll find written instructions with helpful photos and tips too. And if you want to make your own custom sun catchers with different designs or maybe a name like I did on my Jennifer one up here, stay tuned to the last step for more details. So let's start with how to get my free files, and then I'll show you how to cut and assemble your own window clings. Step one, get my free sun catcher designs. First, download my free done for you designs at jennifermaker.com slash 620. You can either download right from that link by saving the project or download for my entire free design collection. To find it, look for Libraries in the red bar at the top, and then click either Get a Password if you don't yet have one, or click Enter the Library. Search the page for design number 620 and click the link to download the designs. If you're not sure how to use these files, go to jennifermaker.com svgs to learn how to download and unzip files. There are SVG, DXF, and PDF versions of my Hummingbird, Butterfly, and Ladybug designs in the folder. 
You can use the PDF to cut the designs by hand or the DXF to cut with another cutting machine. But in this video, I'll show you how to use a Cricut cutting machine to cut the SVG files so they are nice and precise. Step two, prepare and cut your sun catchers. Open Cricut Design Space and click New Project to move to a blank canvas where you can see all the tools and features available. To start with one of my free designs, click the Upload button and then click Upload Image. Click Browse and find the Sun Catchers SVG file. Then click Continue and Upload to add the design collection to your canvas. There is a hummingbird, a butterfly, and a ladybug. Each design has an offset layer on the bottom for the window cling and a details layer on top for the vinyl. Click Save and give your project a name. The designs can be cut just as they are, but if you want to make any changes, click the ungroup icon. I always recommend ungrouping a design after you upload it, as it will be grouped by default. I'm going to make the hummingbird and butterfly, so I'll delete the ladybug. If you want to resize a design, make sure the lock icon is closed to maintain its proportions. Then click and drag a corner of its bounding box to change the size. I don't recommend making these much smaller than they are because the details will get difficult to cut and weed, but a little bigger is totally okay. If we cut these right now, both detail layers would go on the same mat. But I want to use different kinds of vinyl, so these look really cool, so I need to change one of these. Here's how to change things. Over in the Layers panel, I'll click the top detail layer for the Hummingbird. I'll cut this from Holographic Adhesive Vinyl. I'll click the color box and change it to blue so it will go on a different mat than either the window cling or the butterfly vinyl. And that's all we need to do. Your window clings are ready to cut. Make sure the correct machine is selected in the top, save your project and click make. On the prepare screen, make sure the correct material size is selected for each of your mats. I'm going to trim my materials to fit, so I'll keep the 12 by 12 inch size to use the whole mat. On the window cling mat, move the design so there will be some excess material on each side, and you'll be able to cut between them easily. This will help later on. Adjust any other mats, and then click the first mat again so it will load first on the next screen, and then click continue. The first mat is our window cling. I found that the stencil film 0.4 millimeter setting works well, so I'll click browse all materials and search for stencil and then I'll select it and click Done. Now click the drop-down menu and select More Pressure. So the machine will cut through the material but keep the carrier sheet intact. We're going to need to keep some of the carrier sheet intact around each design to make adding the vinyl easier. But that doesn't mean we need to waste a lot of material by cutting a full piece to cover the machine mat. So first, look at your screen to see how large the piece needs to be to cover the designs, and about an inch or so around them. Remember, each grid box is one inch. So for mine, the piece should be about 12 inches wide and six inches tall to cover both. Cutting the material to size can be a little challenging. Uh, if your cling is under 12 inches wide, that measurement works for the width on a machine mat. I recommend using the Cricut Portable Paper Trimmer to cut the length you need right off the roll. Just use the guide at the top to measure how much you want, and keep the material flush against it so the cut will be straight. But if you don't have a paper trimmer, or your window cling is really wide, you can use scissors, of course. The Purple Strong Grip Machine Mat has double duty in this project. So I suggest you unroll some of the cling with its carrier sheet in place. Line up a corner of the free end with the corner of the grid's mat and press it in place. It's okay if the material goes over the edges. I place my painter's tape on the unrolled end to keep it from rolling back up. Remember, each square on the mat is one inch, so find the vertical grid line that matches how wide you need to cut the piece. I'm going to use the full grid's width, so I'll maneuver everything so I can cut down along the far edge. If yours is smaller, you might need to peel up some of the cling to reach it. Try to keep the cut straight even when the grid line ends. Then find the correct horizontal grid line for your other measurement and cut along it the same way. I'll use the 6 inch mark. 
If you have trouble getting a straight cut, it's better to cut the piece a little larger than you need it so you're sure to cover the design area. Place the cut piece carrier sheet down on the purple strong grip machine mat so it covers the design area. Make sure it's smooth and use a brayer to roll it down to stay in place. Put your clean premium fine point blade in the clamp, press the flashing load button to load the mat into your Cricut, and then press the flashing go button to begin cutting. Once it's finished cutting, don't unload the mat quite yet. Gradually lift a corner of the material to make sure the cut went through the film. If it didn't go all the way through, press that middle button again to make a second pass in the same place. Then unload the mat, flip the mat over onto your work surface and roll the mat back to release the window cling and its carrier sheet. Use scissors to cut the window cling designs apart, leaving a roughly even amount of material on either decal. Then use your weeding tool to remove the excess window cling from around each design, leaving the carrier sheet intact. The material might curl, but that's okay. Now for the detail layers. If you're using plain adhesive vinyl like my butterfly mat, set the material to premium vinyl permanent glossy with more pressure. Use your trimmer or scissors to cut a piece of the premium vinyl slightly larger than your design so you can save the rest for a future project. I'll make mine 5 by 6 inches. Then adhere the vinyl shiny side up on a green standard grip machine mat so it covers the design area. And use a brayer to make sure it's fully adhered because this helps you get good cuts. Press the flashing load button to load the prepared mat into your Cricut and then press the flash and go button to begin cutting. When the cuts are complete, unload your mat, flip it over onto your work surface, and roll it back to release your vinyl. Now for the holographic vinyl, follow the same process using the holographic vinyl setting with more pressure. I'll cut this piece to five by six inches too. And I'll put mine pretty side up on a purple mat, but a really, really sticky green mat could also do the trick. For each cut decal, use a weeding tool to carefully peel away the extra background vinyl. I like to work from larger to smaller sections during weeding. I think it can be easier to weed vinyl, especially small detailed designs, while it's adhered to the machine mat, so you can stick them carrier sheet down if you like. Now poke your weeding tool into each section of the design that you want to remove, then gently lift it away from the design. Make sure you don't pull up any pieces you want to keep. If they come up, gently pat them back in place and try again. The premium and holographic vinyls both weed pretty easily, so just take your time and get all the tiny details. When you're done weeding, pair the matching window cling and vinyl designs. Step three, assemble your sun catcher window clings. Decide which designs you want to work with first and then place the window cling offset layer and the vinyl decal face up in your work area. The window cling still likes to curl, so you can put it back on the machine mat or tape its carrier sheet down to the work surface with painter's tape to keep it flat. Make sure your vinyl decal is face up on your work surface and cut a piece of standard grip transfer tape slightly larger than your vinyl decal. Remove the backer from the transfer tape. Hold the transfer tape in the shape of a taco or a U shape, sticky side down, and then put the bottom of the taco onto the middle of your decal. Smooth the transfer tape over the decal from the center outward and burnish it down using the scraper tool. Focus your burnishing over the vinyl pieces to really help them move from the carrier sheet to the transfer tape. Flip the design over and gently peel off the backing from the vinyl. Place the center of your decal under the window cling layer. Check the alignment and gently lift it to try again if the vinyl is too close to an edge. Then using your finger, rub from the center of the vinyl outward, tacking the vinyl into place on the window cling. Take your time and use a scraper to press out as many bubbles as possible in the vinyl shapes. Once the vinyl is well burnished, hold the window cling down and gently peel back the transfer tape, starting in one corner. Peel back the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on the window cling. 
If you made a second window cling like I did, use the same steps to transfer the detail layer. Step four, show it off. Our sun catchers are now finished. When you're ready to hang them up, pick a window that gets a lot of sun. Clean it well with your favorite window cleaner and let it dry for a better application. Then just peel the carrier sheet away from the window cling and gently press it onto the glass with the vinyl facing you. Carefully smooth it out with your fingers to remove any air bubbles because the window cling will stay in place better without any interference. If you want to reposition it, that's as simple as lifting an edge and sticking the sun catcher in a new spot. It's so easy. Step five, customize it. If you loved these sun catchers but wish you could customize one with your own design or a name or a phrase, I totally have a way that you can do that. You can get the design toolkit I made and learn how to create your own sun catcher through a special program called Advance with Jennifer Maker. The Advance program helps you advance your crafting skills by teaching you how to make these popular designs unique and special through tutorials and templates, as well as giving you advanced access to my vast library of designs, projects, and resources. Now, I may or may not be accepting new members into the Advanced program at the time you see this video, but if you're interested or want to be on our waiting list, go to jennifermaker.com slash advance to learn more and see how it all works. I just love how these came together so quickly and easily. Sometimes a quick project is just what you need, right? Both of the window cling materials that I use cut well and were easy to work with. The iridescent one is a little thicker, so weeding was almost like cracking an infusible ink transfer sheet, if you know what I mean. But both the plain and holographic vinyl stuck really well to both window clings. If you try another type of uh, window cling material, make sure it doesn't have a lot of texture because that might keep the vinyl from sticking as nicely. And I love the different looks you can create with just two kinds of window cling and two kinds of vinyl. The iridescent window cling is much more noticeable on the glass, even without sun. But I also really like the more subtle rainbow the pattern window cling creates. I really like the rainbow, in fact. These pieces aren't really big enough to make the big patches of rainbows across your room, but you will get a nice little light show when the sun hits them just right. The two vinyl options really change the look of the sun catcher too. I like how the black vinyl makes a really distinct design and stands out from the window cling. The holographic vinyl has less contrast, but it adds some extra color depending on the angle that you're viewing it from. Which combination do you prefer? I would love to know. Put your comment right in the comments below this video. I really, really hope that you'll make your own sun catchers. Remember, I have the written tutorial with links to everything that I used over at jennifermaker.com slash 620. So you don't have to guess if the window cling that you're buying will work or not. And if you want to learn how to design your own layered sun catcher window cling with a toolkit of fun elements and your own custom text, go to jennifermaker.com slash advance to learn all about the Advance with Jennifer Maker program. It is a lot of fun and you can join more than 8,000 members who are advancing with me. And do you want to add some shine to your decor, but you don't have a cutting machine to make these detailed cuts? I want you to be able to make anything you want to. So I give away a Cricut cutting machine every month. The giveaway is over on my blog and you can enter for the chance to win and get all of the details at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. I'd love for you to win and make your own sun catchers and so many other projects. If you have any questions about working with vinyl, using your cutting machine, or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, please let me know. Just leave your question below this video or ask over in our awesome Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And we love it when you share your photos with us too, so I'm hoping to see lots of pretty sun catchers in there. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.